Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of a governor hernia in a child of 9 years. You will see the ultrasound findings in the aguanal hernia. The child is aged about 9 years. A hernia occurs when an organ of fatty tissue squeezes through a weak spot in the surrounding muscle or connective tissue called fascia. The most common types of hernia are aguanal, that is inner groin, incisional resulting from an incision, femoral outer groin, umbilical belly button and hiatus upper stomach. You can see the scanning of the testes and this is the right testes and it looks ecomeconormal while the left testicle is surrounded by a fluid hydrocele on the left side. An inguinal hernia occurs when tissues such as part of the intestine protrudes through a weak spot in the abdominal muscle. The resulting bulge can be painful, especially when you cough, bend over or lift a heavy object. You can see the blood flow is seen in both the testes. Testes are ecomeconormal and a fluid is seen encircling the left testes, hydrocele. And a part of intestine gut loops is will be seen in this hydrocele portion. Ultrasound is a non-invasive, non-ionizing radiation modality which is highly successful and at soft tissue imaging, groin, uh, groin pain from an oculate hernia can be difficult clinical diagnostic diagnosis made easier by good imaging by optimizing the image using depth, focus and gain. Now the ultrasound findings in the guanal hernia are herniated gut loops along with some fluid collection at guanal region on the affected side, testes and epididymis pulled up with herniated contents, hydrocel on the respective and that is involved side and normal testes on the unaffected side. Now you can see the testes, involved testes showing hydrocele and the testes and epididymis are slightly pulled up with the herniated content and the other testes unaffected looks ecomeconormal. Now you will see the gut loops, small portion of gut loops is seen in the hydrocele portion of the sacrotum. A bulge in the groin area is visible. Because standing and cuffing can make the hernia more prominent, you will likely to be asked, the patient will be likely to be asked to stand up and cuff or strain. If the diagnosis is not readily apparent, your doctor might order an imaging test such as abdominal ultrasound, CT scan or MRI. Now you will see the a small portion of gut loops seen along the testes in the in the involved site. Examination of an adult for iguanal hernia is best performed from the seated position. <coughs> With the patient standing, the iguanal canal area 
for the bulge are visualized. A provocative cuff may be necessary to expose the hernia. The cuff is repeated as the examiner invaginates the scrotum and feels for an impulse. Now you can see this is the area of the gut loops which has entered into the testicle along with in the scrotum. Not all iguanal hernia need to be repaired, but all hernias repair require surgery. Small hernia that are not strangulated, not blocking blood supply of the intestine and are not causing bowel obstruction or significant pain do not necessarily require surgery or emergency surgical repair. Hernia can go misdiagnosed in women and can instead be thought to be ovarian cysts, fibroids, endometriosis or other abdominal tissue issues according uh, women's hernia can be small and are internal thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks